A day which is supposed to be celebrated in Nigeria at 60 years of independence turned out to be the other way round as some citizens march around the streets of Benin City expressing displeasure and grievance at the level of decadence in Nigeria. 60 years after Nigeria independence, Nigeria is still crawling. Nigeria is still suffocating in the eye of grip of dogmatic slumber. As a result of the fact that those who were elected to pilot the affairs of this nation since 1960 had failed in their counter categorical penalty. I want to say, I want to beg you that our message is very clear. And I ask a question, like I asked before. They say there is no money to fund to pay subsidy for petrol products, to pay for electricity tariff. But I want to ask you, are we not all weakness to the annual budget for replacement and replacement of the annual vehicle on a yearly basis? Yes. Yes. So Nigerians are up, you know, they are up against the tyranny against impunity, against, against corruption, against, uh, you know, uh, forced uh, leadership, so the leadership we call it. The protesters, carrying placards with various inscriptions, say they are kicking against the recent increment in palm price, electricity tariff, and value-added tax, VATS, noting the untold hardship it has imposed on the citizens. The message to the government is that we should, as a matter of importance, change the narratives cannot because the Nigeria populace are not happy. To tell this our president to do something is this thing, you know, it's not just the Ghana. That time Ghana was carrying Ghana must go to part of the village. So we we'll come out to say that the Nigerian people we need a system, a new system that will work for all Nigerians, not a system that works for the cabalat, not a system that works for those in Asso Rock. Not a civil rights activist, Patrick Aholo, also speaking on the state of the nation at CCC, the country does not have anything to celebrate with the continued violation of human rights in Nigeria. And I, I'm not among the people who celebrate, you know. I cannot celebrate 60 years of my existence as a failure. Nigeria is a free state, and it gradually follows a state, a free state that has not failed. So I am not celebrating, you know. What is there to celebrate? We you have no human rights, human rights have been abused, we you have no infrastructure, when you have uh, politicians who are making money without providing any service for them, there's supposed to be a lawmaker who become a lawbreaker. It's very um, offensive for the intellectuals that we have in Nigeria, where you have some people in the north, they have 81, they pass. You have some children in the south, they have 182, they fail. And you call that quota system. So it is rather preposterous to see if we as Nigeria can continue to live in this quagmire, and I and I say, and I dare them to say that we have a president today who will not speak to the nation. We have a president today who will have to use a spokesperson to speak to us. And you want to tell me Nigeria is right? What is Since Nigeria got her independence from British rule on October 1st, 1960, the citizens have looked forward to a better country. Inyakonye Wokenye, AIT News, Benin.